Hello, this is Professor Stephen Eshiba, and I want to share a little bit about entering numbers in scientific notation into a spreadsheet. So uh, as examples here, I've got a spreadsheet uh, up here, and uh, uh, I've already put in a, a label, that is to say this is uh, just telling me that I want to enter the mass of the Earth, and I happen to know that the mass of the Earth is uh, 5.97 times 10 to the 27 kilograms. So the way you enter a number in, you know, the, the best way, the way I recommend is to, to uh, use scientific notation in spreadsheet uh, language, uh, if you like, which goes like this, 5.97, that's the first part, and then to express the 10 to the 27th, I'm going to go E27, and that E could be capital or lowercase, but it can't have a space between the number and the E. Okay, and as you can see, uh, it's now sort of echoed back to me that that's, that's the number. Um, for Avogadro's number, let's see if I can uh, remember what that number is. Oh, that's uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, so I'm going to say 6.02 E23. Oops, um, 6.02 E23. Okay, and... Uh, same thing if we just keep on going. Um, let's see, the mass of a proton is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27, and that kind of goes in a similar way. I'm going to say 1.67 uh, uh, e. And now, if you want to have a minus 10 to the to 10 to the exponent of the power of 10, I would go minus 27 just like that, and uh, and and so on. Now, um, uh, you don't always have to enter numbers in scientific notation if they're easy. Like if I know that the pressure um, is one atmosphere, I can just say one. Uh, if I know that the volume uh, is is, uh, is as a quarter of a liter, I can just say 0 0.25. That's uh, that's fine. Um, uh, temperature in Kelvin. Um, well. That's 298 is a typical room temperature and, and so on.